fact that Zab Orbital's 10th launch is a major milestone. It is really difficult to get your own satellite, your client's satellites to orbit. And the fact we can do this affordably and consistently is just a huge deal. The fact we're in double digits is fantastic. So this launch will mark over 100 pocket cubes ever launched, and we've launched over half of them. So anything to do with pocket cubes, we do really well. And I think just the stats speak for themselves. To get to 100 pocket cubes um, is, is a great achievement. When I first started the company, there was only four pocket cubes launched globally ever. Um, and we've now launched 53 with another four in the next launch. It's a great honor that we're like trusted by so many different um, companies and individuals uh, to launch their satellites for them. The first launches of anything new, any technological innovation, it's always the start that's the hardest. So getting to 10 launches is a, is a major moment for us in the sense of we've managed to do those hardest launches, we've gotten past that hardest bit. The reason I think Alba's quite so significant is just the ambition that we've got. The, that ambition, that drive means that we are willing to try new things and push things forward and maybe fail a little, but then learn from that and, and try again. Um, and we're seeing some results now with some you know, really cool uh, moments in this, this next launch and the previous ones. My name is Rafael. I am the CTO of ID Space. We are a space education company based in Brazil. And I'm here to integrate the satellites we built with some students from Azerbaijan and Saudi Arabia. But for us, it's, it's kind of funny because it will be one of our first launches and it's gonna be the uh, 100th launch. So we choose ABBA because of the reliability and also because our philosophy is very well aligned because we believe that pocket cubes are a very good way to democratize access to space. My name is Tibor Herman, and uh, I'm from TU Budapest or BME from Hungary. Uh, this is our fifth uh, pocket cube launched, and this is also the hundredth pocket cube launched worldwide. We are really excited because uh, this will be a huge milestone today, uh, not just for us but for ABBA as well and the whole pocket cube community. And uh, we know that if we launch with ABBA, we will, we will be deployed uh, safe and sound. So I think my favorite launch of ALBA has been launch eight. Purely from a business side, that one was all customers. The fact that it was just showing how popular Pocubes are and how the market is growing is fantastic. I mean, it's great to launch your own satellite because the Unicorn 2 is doing incredible stuff, but it's not a bad problem to have, to have it so busy only customers are going on. My personal favorite launch for ALBA was the flight number eight. And we had first Pocket Cube satellite from Poland and Poland is quite close to me because this is a country of my origin. So my favourite launch uh, was definitely Launch 9, the last one that we had. It was my first launch at the company, having worked on some of the satellites that were uh, going up. And just to get to see it from start to finish of the satellites being developed and, and built up to being tested and integrated and then finally launched and operated in, in orbit uh, and to get some really cool results from that was amazing for me. Uh, the first launch for me uh, in 2019 was such a huge milestone. Uh, it'd been a long time coming and we finally managed to launch uh, our first six satellites uh, in New Zealand. And I think the, the real impressive thing now is just with the cadence, you know, we're, we're launching really regularly and that really offers up uh, regular flight opportunities for customers. So I think for the next 100 Pocket Cubes, I'm most excited about innovation. The last few years, Pocket Cubes, the innovation has been absolutely incredible. So I've no doubt in the next few years, we're gonna see some absolutely insane changes. And it's just gonna solidify Pocket Cubes as such a solid standard. When you design anything this small, there's a lot of limitations that come with that. And I think that those limitations will breed a lot of very smart people to come up with some very cool designs for how to control them. Uh, and I'm kind of curious to see how that's gonna develop. I think now the technology is starting to mature. We're starting to see more ambitious missions. So I think the next 100 Pocubes, we're going to see some really amazing data and, and really amazing constellations get built. And I think we're going to see a acceleration in a democratized access to space, which is, is really the goal of ALBA is to get more people flying stuff in space and, and putting stuff in orbit uh, and enabling more, more users of space. <laughs>